All right, guys, welcome to my channel. Well, my, <laughs> my name is Jade, and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're talking about why some people blow up for no reason. If you're not aware, an algorithm is a common formula for all social medias to use to see which post or which video goes viral. If you ever been through your explore page or your feed or any YouTube video, sometimes you get suggested things, popped up things, your timeline looks different. It's all because of an algorithm. Now, there's a lot of people trying to break or like conquer the algorithm, but lately I've been doing a series called kind of ignore the algorithm to really encourage people to just go out of their comfort zone and do something for themselves for once and not just worry. That's what we're gonna do today for my own channel. I will link below the first part of this video below, but today's part is developing our own little algorithm for this channel and I'm really excited so make sure you like this video if you are too. I'm gonna quickly insert some vlog footage from this morning when I went to the beach but if you don't really give a shit I just skip for, it's just only a minute just just watch <sighs> all right good morning guys I'm going to the beach today so I'm getting ready and I'm going with my friend Mason so I will take you along What's up, Mason? What's up? We're three and a half miles away from the beach. Guys, it's literally so windy and I can't see anything. It's really rainy and I don't know how to describe it, but that's the beach, okay? Okay, this is a shitty vlog, but the weather is great. to review my channel. I can use some work, let's just say that. I mean, thumbnails are everywhere. You have a few videos doing well, some videos aren't doing good, uh, but the most important part is just being happy and proud of my channel, which I am. But for just for you guys, I'm gonna create an algorithm for ourselves, and then you can learn actually how to apply it to your own account. Whether you have a YouTube channel or Instagram, this works both ways. So step one to developing your own algorithm is actually to look at all your videos the data you have keep in mind This will only work if you actually have a lot of content to analyze a lot of you guys are quitting too early And you guys maybe I mentioned this earlier, but you don't have much data to analyze if you have t like two posts You can't analyze that so I have about 150 videos So I think I have enough what I would do for the first step is just kind of get a feel for my case I get more views when I have the Instagram logo and it's true for most of these videos not all but I'm just taking this into account. I'm actually doing a thing where I'm gonna to go to my most popular uploads. I'm gonna hit sort by and hit most popular. Now it's obvious there's a few videos that are doing extremely well. It's how to grow on Instagram to 5K, how she grew to 11 million followers. I have another one that's called how to grow your Instagram 30 minutes daily. So what I would do is take your top three that are recent and analyze why it's so popular. And a lot of people don't do this. So the first step is to go to most popular and sort by. The second step is to kind of dive in why it's happening. We have a pen and paper to take notes. We're gonna quickly do that to my Instagram in a second. So. Guys, are you tired of seeing these other YouTubers tell you BS on- Hold up, this is actually really cringe. I, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to grow your Instagram profile before 5,000 followers in 2018. <laughs> If anyone commented that I look really stupid, it's true. First off, it's at a- it's almost at half a million views, which is- Crazy, thank you so much. I want to let you know the first thing I know is off the bat that I'm gonna take note is my hook was very powerful. There's a little background music, and I said stuff like, Do you want to learn? Questions, right? I said, Are you tired of? I'm gonna write that down. Guys, you have to be detailed. Like, I'm not telling you to go back into your videos and see how many likes you got. It's like literally, what color did you use? What shade of eyeshadow did you put on? Is the background of your videos clean? Let's just check. Is I don't even know. <laughs> My room looks like a stereotypical white college dorm. <laughs> I, I dig it, it's just my room's a lot different now. I'm gonna be off the bat. The first thing I noticed is my presence was very warm. Check this out. You know, if you're new here, welcome. So it's really important, now I'm watching this back, I say welcome all the time. Taking note. But the one thing I wanna realize is it's 11 minutes long, so 
the duration was not too long, not too short, but it still got people interested for a long time. Yesterday's video, I mentioned that only make videos as long as you can fit in. If your personality can only handle like a minute videos, then do that. If you can do 20 minute videos, do whatever suits you. That's actually really interesting. The top two videos on my channel have... <laughs> This is a Black Bear song. I get questions all the time in comments. And they're like, Jade, you listen to Black Bear, so do I. So even the music in the background needs to make people feel something. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So off the bat, I can tell this video has how to grow an Instagram. And the first video that I posted that had super, like half a million views also says how to grow an Instagram. So I think just using those keywords really helped. So when I analyze this, I would say the next time I want to post a video, I would just copy and paste use the exact same title. If you want me to send you a video of me probably responding. So the next thing I noticed is that I said links in the description, meaning that I'm trying to get people to kind of connect with me further just from YouTube. Hey guys, make sure you can email me or message me. So I just want to make everyone feel Welcome. But I highly recommend you as I'm building my own algorithm to just keep in mind do people like you because you're super super caring What do people like about you and just understand that the easiest way to find out is actually asking your five closest friends and see What they th oh, let's hold up. Let me see what my dad thinks about me da, 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 da. I want to know what are the top three traits about me assistant. Okay curiosity, okay Creativity Thank you, Dad. That would be 50 bucks. So my dad has told me a couple of traits that I should double down on or I'm really good at, and that's really good to understand because when you put it into your content, because you know you're already strong and that you have a strength, you can honestly amplify it with social media. Say my dad says I'm persistent. I'm always persistent in getting messages through. I repeat things over and over again so you guys learn. And in this very moment, Jade realized... Ah! I got it! All right, so we got our formula and I think I'm gonna share it right now. My guys, this is just for me. If you want me to do another episode where I can pick apart other people's channels or maybe your channel, let me know if that's interesting to you. I was thinking it might be helpful for you guys if you wanna suggest any other YouTubers or successful Instagrammers that kinda have a lot to say and you don't know why they blew up, I will break it down for you. For today, it's my channel, which means it might not work for you, but I thought, oh, I just ripped it in half. A hook with a question, plus a black bear song for my intro, plus me being really welcome to my camera, having how to grow in any of the titles, being really persistent with my message, plus 11 minutes of rambling around that time frame equals success! Yeah! Now, I just wanted to give you guys a little story, and I know a lot of you guys don't have YouTube, you just have Instagram, so maybe this is for you. Just remember, last year I only had a thousand followers. I grew to 16,000 followers right now, but it wasn't always like that. I remember just feeling really lost, and I almost gave up. Like, you know, when you're doing unfollow or follow or any other Instagram technique, it gets tiring and you feel like, what's the purpose? And I'm not still getting likes. Like, have you ever had the feeling where you do a lot of shit, but no one's still taking interest and it makes you kind of feel embarrassed? What I've really learned, and this is the technique I used to do, is I would just watch people that had my dream feed or my dream follower count. I looked up to them, not because they had lots of followers, but it was because I wanted to see their process. I want to know what they're doing. But it's not like Kim Kardashian's going to lay out why she's so successful. But what you can do is just analyze people's shit. This is what I used to do, no joke. I would go on, one of, the, one of them was Zoe Laz. I don't know if I still follow her, but anyways, people like that, I love her aesthetic feed. She posted colorful, beautiful pictures and everything was perfect. I would literally, uh, literally every day, I would spend an hour looking at her. What time she posted? What time was her captions? What colors did she use? Did she post a picture of her or a landscape? What does her bio look like? What did she post on stories? Did she comment back to people? What was her message? These are the things I would analyze and you can repeat this process for anyone you like. A lot of you guys sit there and look at people that are really, really successful and just analyze them. But you guys, you can honestly just kind of take their success and learn what you can and analyze the shit out of them with these techniques and build your own algorithm. The reason why I'm telling you this guys is because you don't actually have to follow anybody's rules, take pieces and bits from people that are successful and convert it into your own. The reason why I was analyzing other people's success wasn't to copy them, but was to really learn what process worked and what I can apply to my own style. So my biggest thing is for everyone that's trying to copy each other, just take bits and pieces 
build your own algorithm don't stress out too much just be yourself in regards to techniques on unfollow and follow that doesn't matter your content needs to be good and you need to build your own algorithm which takes time so whether you're feeling unmotivated i hope this really pushes you to keep going it's going to take a lot of time but just know i'm here for you i'm 100 percent just wanting to know that this channel is just wanting to support you and grow with you that's the only mission so i hope you guys enjoyed this video that being said that is my little formula and i hope this video is helpful i will link below my description description box where if you want to get one-on-one -on -one coaching I'm telling you all my students are absolutely crushing it and if you really need extra push and you're super serious and of course when you're ready check the links in the description if you would like to get personal one-on-one -on -one coaching for me it will change your life shout out to the comment winner shout out to the comment winner comment on this post to be featured in the next episode if you want to be the next comment winner comment below your favorite youtuber i'm just curious if it's me if it's sarah or if it's kelly I'm super curious to see what you guys are into i really do care about you guys i 100 percent 100 percent just want you to know how much i'm here for you i literally just replied to 100 dms and not a lot of people will do that a dedication i really do actually have for you guys is immense and i just do really care regardless if it's a stupid question or not i will try to get back to you guys so just shoot me on Instagram. Not don't shoot me. Message me on Instagram. Subscribe to this channel and like this video for more. Catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.